Hi, welcome back to Live It Up with Lee and Krista. We always have a blast together uh, introducing uh, fabulous people in our community. And the lady boss has arrived. Say hello to <laughs> Gloria Reyes. She is the interim code uh, deputy director of the Dane County Department of Human Services. And she joins us with her beautiful self today. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Hi. thank you so much for having me today. Oh, thank yes. you so much for being here. We so appreciate it. Yeah, oh, definitely, yes. definitely. Yes, I came in wearing my um, it's my scarf, uh, celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, mm -hmm. um, September 15th through October 15th. So thank you so much for having yes. me. Yes. Yeah. So well, I'm glad you got to be able to come on during this time as well. Yes. It's a very special time. Yes. Yeah, where we celebrate, you know, our Latin American countries. Um, mm -hmm. They celebrate their Independence Day and, um, you know, really just uplift the many uh, contributions of mm -hmm. our Latino Latinx mm -hmm. community um, here locally and throughout the country. So. Yeah. Great yes. to be here, thank you. Well, awesome. you're definitely an inspiration, a woman that walks her pathway in life. Tell us what it was like running for mayor of Madison. It was very scary. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I had run for an elected position uh, for the Madison School Board and served mm -hmm. um, a term, but running for mayor was a whole different, you know, ball game. Um, but, you know, I've always um, felt that it is so important to jump into the arena, right? Mm -hmm. To jump in and really give back to a community that really supported me and my family. And so I love Madison, I grew up here. Uh, and uh, it was one of those things where I just had to do it. Yeah. Um, uh, despite the challenges that, you know, came along with running a campaign. Yes. Um, but I'm so glad I did it, I learned so much. And I think what I um, really appreciated about the uh, process was engaging community residents, right? Mm -hmm. Engaging people about the issues that they care about, mm -hmm. particularly our most vulnerable communities who oftentimes don't have a voice. And so it was really nice um, expressing their concerns um, during um, you know, debates and forums and throughout the process and really talk about policy issues. Um, and decisions that are impacting everyday Madisonians. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that sort of the reason why you got involved and decided to run because you wanted to give some people a voice, so to speak, and also just get people together and be part of the community? Yeah, you know, that's where I thrived. Um, mm -hmm. As deputy mayor for the city of Madison for five years, um, that is where I thrived, really, mm -hmm. out in community, listening yeah. to residents about the issues that are impacting them and really translating that to policies and budget decisions and. Yeah. Um, it really was uh, great to, to be able to connect the two. Um, and, um, and so I, I thought that I was a good uh, qualified candidate mm -hmm. to run uh, mm -hmm. for the city of Madison and I was so passionate about it. Um, you know, my parents were migrant farm workers. They, mm -hmm. um, they came here during the early 70s to protest um, uh, during the Cesar Chavez movement, um, mm -hmm. protesting for um, housing and pay equal wages for our, our migrant farm workers yeah. in Wisconsin and across the country. Yeah. And um, so Madison is home to me. Madison has been really good to me. Mm -hmm. And that is why um, I decided to jump in. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, we're so happy you did. Thank yes. you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. yes. Um, and if I may just ask real quick, because it's so inspirational for young ladies to see a woman like yourself take something on that might be a bit fearful, what would you say to them that, you know, you've learned from that? Yeah, I think that um, I would say that if uh, you are passionate about something um, and you really care about something and focused and determined to just jump in the arena. I've said mm -hmm. that a few times. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of Brene Brown. Um, and really just jump in, you know, yeah. don't sit on the sidelines and watch things go by. Um, and if you have something, if you're dedicated and you commit, committed to something and you have a vision, step in yeah. the arena. And um, that's what I did. I stepped into the arena and it was a, it was a great experience. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah. You know, I love the saying something about like your, your greatest happiness is on the other side of your greatest fear. So mm, yes. having you jump into that is um, very inspiring. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So thank, thank you. Thank you for doing that. So now your role is at Dane County H Department of Human Services. Can you kind of dive into that a little bit and yes. tell us what you do there? Yes, Human Services, the Dane County Department of Human Services is the biggest department uh, in the county. Mm -hmm. It's the lar largest budget. We have over 800 employees and um, they are in a transition of uh, the director position within the Department of Human Services. And so um, they are launching, they're going to be launching a, um, a recruitment process uh, mm -hmm. for the director of human services. Okay. And so. 
um, you know, I've jumped into this co interim director role, um, co director, co deputy director role, um, for some time until they are able to find somebody. But we have all the um, programs and support our most vulnerable communities, right? Children, youth, and families, behavioral health. Uh, we have departments like uh, Department of Aging um, and Housing yeah. uh, Stability. So all that funding. Um, really goes directed to, again, our most vulnerable communities, which yeah. I'm so passionate about. And so I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to serve in this position. Oh, and we're grateful to have Yay. you here today. Thank and you I'm so sorry much. we ran out of time yes. already, so you'll have to come back. Definitely. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. Thank you. And we thank you for watching. We'll be right back after the break.